the entire Richardson family. Melina and I offer you our deepest sympathies during this difficult time of loss. You have been in our thoughts and in our prayers during this painful journey, and you will remain in our hearts in the weeks and months ahead. Two years, two months, seven days. That's when we last gathered in this historic chamber to celebrate Dennis Richardson as Oregon's 46th Secretary of State. For those on my side of the aisle, we also celebrated the arrival of Oregon's first elected Republican Secretary of State since Norma Paulus left office in 1984. Governor. <laughs> so what a sad irony then that Oregon would lose both of these strong, independent leaders in the same week. Both Norma Paulus and Dennis Richardson were transformative figures who used the great talent of the state's auditors to identify shortcomings in taxpayer-funded programs. And both headed elections divisions free from political influence that made sure every Oregonian's vote counted and each held accountable those hostile to democracy who failed to respect the integrity of Oregon's election laws. In short, they stood up for the integrity and honesty and gave Oregonians an election process they knew they could trust. God and family were the deep wells from which Dennis drew guidance and strength. Monday in Central Point at the church service, we heard from friends and business associates about Dennis's character, about his risk-taking, and certainly about his love. We were uplifted when his grandchildren, all 31 of them, joined their voices in song of praise. Dennis knew how to get things done and how to achieve his goals. But he also knew how to give back. His longtime law partner, Kelly Anderson, told the story of how as a freshman at law school at BYU, Dennis found a grammar expert and then organized students to help them with their writing. 